Every page in ModX has a number of settings, and in order to edit a page, uh, you can either just click on the page once or right click on the page and choose Edit Resource, and that will bring about the page settings. And below the page settings, if I scroll down, is where the actual content is, uh, is placed. There are a number of settings and depending on your level of access you may see some or all of these uh, settings and again the descriptions might be a little different. It really depends on what's been set up for your user account. There are a number of tabs uh, across the top here and um, the basic settings are found in the create edit document tab. There are some more advanced settings in the page settings tab. Template variables uh, will uh, are, is covered in a different tutorial, and then access permissions are based on whether or not you have user groups set up to access different pages, and that's an entirely different tutorial as well. Let's just quickly look at the create edit document settings. Uh, templates are set up in ModX to actually contain the layout of a website. So if I go and look at my uh, demo front end website here. Uh, this is a specific template. It has a sidebar, it has a main content area, area. it has uh, menus across the top. I might have another template that doesn't have a sidebar. Uh, I might have a template that has three columns. I might have a template that has some menus down the side. So templates basically structure your website and depending on the design and the complexity of your site you might have various templates. So this particular uh, drop down allows you to choose the temp template that you want for that page. Uh, a perfect example of a, a template would be a blog post. Um, it might have different parameters to it. Title, uh, pretty straightforward. Every page has a title and this particular field matches what you see in the resource tree. It also matches uh, the browser title which is up here at the top left so whatever you put in this title will go up in that top left section long title that is uh, or it's also known as content title that is an area that goes inside the content of your website and I'm gonna show you how this works this is the content title so on the events page I've got this long title that says this is the content title. I'm going to save this page. I'm going to go over to our live site and I'm going to choose the events and here is the content title. Now, uh, depending on your design, you may or may not have this. Most websites uh, will have this. It's great for search engine optimization as well, as well as the title tag is very good for search engine optimization. And if you forget, you notice that there's uh, these little pop-ups uh, they give a little descriptions of what these do, just in case you forget. The description uh, field, you may or may not see this. Uh, depends on whether or not your website design uses it, and uh, you will be instructed if it does. The resource alias is also important. Uh, that's the address of the page in the browser. So you can see here it says events. And if I go over to my browser, I can see that it's called events.html. The system automatically puts in the .html, so you don't need to do that, but you can see that this is called events. And again, another search engine optimization um, uh, must is that we have these friendly URL aliases, and that makes it better for search engines to find your keywords. So that's the resource alias. It's also known as the URL. Link attributes uh, are very rarely used and probably won't be found on your site. Summary intro text, this is mo mostly used for posts like blog or latest news to give a quick summary. It might be used in other areas if your design allows for it. Parent resource is not used because uh, we drag and drop in the resource tree, but you will see that if there is a, a level or a sub-level, then you will see the parent resource. Uh, the menu title, that is what's found here in the menu, so you can change that if you want. Menu index, again, not needed because of the drag and drop. Hide from menus is whether or not you want to show it in the menu or not. 